Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing good. Let's discuss about scenario testing in Pega and what are the prerequisites and what is a test rule set in Pega? What are the different uses of this scenario testing? Let's get started into the topic. So for scenario testing, first we have to go to marketplace and in this marketplace you can see this Pega test automation kit. Uh, you click on download. So a zip file will be downloaded where you have automation application OOTB provided by Pega and that uh, zip you have to import into your respective environment and I have used the latest version uh, and my present version is 8.7 and while uh, importing the file you can see like it would be showing uh, which version so it is 010601 it's a application version and uh, it is having a rule set version called as Pe pega test automation kit which is of 362 instances and there is a data instance as well and some schema changes will be also there once it is imported it would be showing totally 365 rules are moved and this uh, is the confirmation message that uh, automation kit has been successfully imported into our application once you have imported that go to your application definition under built on application add that application as pega test automation kit and you can see the different versions of it now i have given 1.6 and i clicked on save this is the first prerequisite and second prerequisite is you add uh, a rule set called testing or whatever name it is but it is of a test rule set and how do you determine it is a test rule set why we need a test rule set is so under your application stack i have created a application rule set and uh, you can see there is a rule set version as well under category if you see use this rule set to store test cases and this uh, rule set type is standard why this is required is Suppose there are any rules that is not uh, aligned with Pega coding features, then it would be uh, ham tampering our guardrail score. So to eliminate that uh, issues, we have to use this uh, checkbox, use this rules to store test cases so that it would be executed during quality reporting purposes and uh, others. And uh, we won't be promoting this particular testing rule set to higher environments like SI pack or production. So this is uh, very useful to create test cases or uh, uh, unit test cases or scenario test cases for our application in our Denver environment so that we won't be missing any built-in logics or we won't be creating new bugs. We can eliminate at least few of the bugs. So let's launch user portal and then let's uh, create a scenario test case so you know we have settings tab and here we have toggle automation recorder click on this toggle automation recorder then you can see the if there are any test cases already there it will be presented otherwise you click on create test case and if you want to test portal you can select this otherwise you can select what is the case type that you want to test so for my application i'm having three case types i'm so i have to select any one of this so i'm selecting this capture account information you can see here it is initiating this and uh, if you want to stop and save this test case you can do that and it is recording actually now this is drop down you can see here and if you click plus icon also you can see the type of this see checkbox see what is a drop down or what is a description everything is mentioned over here and suppose after you have given drop down and you want to wait for five milliseconds after executing this step you can give that as well and uh, suppose what is the expected attribute if value is this and you want to select some other dynamic value and capture the value you can play around different actions as well and if you want to uh, give some uh, value of this particular step you can give this now i'm clicking on cancel okay now i'm just uh, selecting this account number 
and this is already pre-populated now i am unchecking this hash savings and here i am giving bank as kfc okay and i am not selecting this uh, scheduled transaction date and i am just clicking on create button so this case has been created uh, but here this particular test has been recorded now i am clicking on stop and save test case means uh, that is one of the scenario i want to test it now i am doing like kfc bank record this is the test case name and if you want to give some description you can give this and if you want to uh, go for a role specific test you can give this suppose uh, this particular test case should be executed only for users not for the administrators In like that you can uh, categorize those now this is the context context is nothing but application and where do you want to save this this is apply to class and uh, rule set as we have only one testing rule set only that will be populated over here this is test case rule set and i'm clicking save so this particular test case is saved and it has been never run now i'm going to dev studio how to see that configure application as this is a testing thing quality and here you can see automated testing this is scenario testing and this is test cases now here we have just created a test case and you can see this is kfc bank record test case and uh, type is case type and this is test suit under test suit you can create a test suit and you can add multiple test cases because uh, in day to day uh, application uh, we might be having different scenarios like process scenarios or uh, some other uh, user specific scenarios as well so you can categorize that and this is reports so if uh, you have run a test case how many are failed how many are passed and you can check what are the case types that are with test cases and without test everything you can see the detailed report over here now i'm going to test cases i want to run only this kfc bank record i'm selecting this and i'm clicking run selected i have selected this run selected see it is pass means uh, the expected result is uh, true we did not uh, tamper anything now let's fail this scenario for more understanding we have given bank name as kfc right so in this particular uh, section now i am deleting this particular bank name okay i am saving it now if you run it as we have deleted a uh, section and we did not update the test case the expected result obviously it won't be that because it is expecting some value for that bank record now i'm going to run again it would be creating another case see there is no bank uh, name test that's why it will be failed so if some developer or uh, some changes are done and we did not update the test case uh, or by mistake someone has deleted some ui element and uh, they forgot and they have promoted this code to higher environments we would be getting a defect in uh, higher environments so in this scenario we have eliminated this you can uh, open this particular test case and you can see what are the steps it has given so it is first initializing the capture account information case next it was selecting uh, drop down account number next checkbox it is verifying and bank name it was giving now we have removed this that's why it has been failed you can uh, reuse this test case or if you want to disable you can disable this and this is setup and clean 
suppose uh, you want to clean up the test data after uh, every run you can give this otherwise if you uncheck this and save it every time you can see what are the different tests it has gone and you can see what is the runtime it has taken it's 9.38 seconds and if you want to delete this you can delete and if you want to check what are the previous runs click on this view previous runs we have one failure and one pass see one failure and one pass close it and if you delete this test case from here it would be uh, removed from here as well and you can see reports again and if you want to create a new test suit you can click on this new test suit and you can select what is the category whether it is a regression testing smoke testing or ad hoc testing and uh, suppose i want to give bank record testing for this test suit okay and if you want to click add this is scenario test cases now i can add this particular scenario testing to here add okay and if i click save i have to give where it should be saved now bank record test click submit and if you go back and refresh this you can see this is the test suit so if you have 5 to 10 test scenarios you can tag them under a test suit and you can give one selection and if you click this what are the different test cases that are there in the respective test suit all those will be executed so it will be easy job for us thanks for watching this video hope you like this content please subscribe to my channel Click on bell notification so you won't be missing any latest video from this YouTube channel.